Okay, so I was really, really hesitant about actually making this video. I'm still not quite sure why I was so hesitant. And I don't know, I just completely procrastinated about filming this video. It's a weird one because you would think that this would be something that I would be like really, really like wanting to rave about and like shout about. But I think it comes from a place of a lack of confidence and maybe a bit of a lack of belief in myself. I'm an anti-sales person. No offence to salespeople at all. There are some real horrible salespeople who annoy the life out of you when you say no, you know, and no, I'm not interested. And they keep going like that. It's just rude. It's, but generally salespeople are fine, but I'm just not a salesperson. I'm not pushy. I don't want to be that person like trying to get someone to spend their hard earned money on something because I like it. I just wanted to share with you um, the fact that I have started my own business. I know, hashtag girl boss, hashtag she's the CEO, hashtag big pimping. I, I don't know. I, by the way, I hate the whole girl boss thing. Fair enough that like, if you want to be, be all like hashtag girl boss vibes, like I, you go girlfriend, you go girlfriend. I'm a supporter of women, but I'm just not, it's not my vibe. But anyway, so I've started my own small business. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you probably will be familiar with the kinds of things that I'm selling because contrary to my lack of wanting to promote anything here on YouTube, I have absolutely no problem promoting the shit out of things on Instagram and TikTok. And I feel bad because I feel like for my Instagram followers, they used to see like just selfies of me with like different makeup looks. And as, as I've kind of got older and like I've transitioned a bit, now all people really see are videos of my cats and pictures and videos of my creations. So I do apologize for that. I, we've been going on a roller coaster over there. Anyway, guys, right, do you know what? I'm just cutting to the chase. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this. And what I don't want is for anyone to sympathy buy anything or, although that would be really nice, but I don't want you to sympathy buy things because I know the, the current economic climate across the world is just terrible right now. And the last thing I ever want to do is like, I don't want to ever take anyone's money I, if they could be spending it on something else. I would only want you to buy something if you really wanted to treat yourself or buy a gift for someone or you just really dig what I do. I don't you to feel like I'm pushing these things in your face and saying, look what I made, you buy, buy, buy. Like, I would say, look, look what I made. Like, this is what I made. I love it. I had so much fun making it. It's there if you did want to buy it, but you don't have to. You do not have to. Like, make sure, like, you bought your groceries, you paid your bills, and then, it, you know, anyway, guys, I, this is why I would be the worst salesperson ever. But anyway, guys, so I'm going to just show you some videos and maybe pictures, but basically, my newest thing, and by the way, I know I go through these different, like, obsessions and addictions, a lot but i'm really into this like i've just realized at the age of 39 that what makes me really happy and satisfied and it does wonders for my mental health is just sticking stuff onto stuff like i just love sticking shit onto other shit not shit because my things are great i don't want to say shit but i just i get i get off on i don't get off on it no 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 i don't but i just love sticking things to things I, I, it's just my vibe who knew and why did it take 39 years to actually have this epiphany i don't know i don't know if when i was younger was i sticking stuff to stuff i who knows but that's definitely like what i spend most of my time doing now so i i buy tumblers i buy little like storage cups you know just like the acrylic ones um i buy um uh, like handheld mirrors photo frames, key rings, pop sockets, phone cases, anything you could stick something onto, I will buy it. And then I use a mix of kabuchons, otherwise known as flat back pearls. It's, it, I, I wanted to buy some flat back pearls the other day and I ended up buying like balls and it, I, I was so disappointed, honestly. But anyway, I, I use rhinestones, I use crystals, I I think that's all I use, but basically I buy all of this, these materials and then, I, yeah, I stick them onto the, the things that I buy. So, so we have this um, tumbler. I created this kind of rainbow drip using AB crystals um, and rhinestones and 
I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever. Like, if you ever buy anything from my store, which by the way is Etsy, I'll include a link in the description. And also, I think there's a link in my uh, main like bio as well. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, and I'm I'm not really on TikTok. I'm a bit of like an observer of TikTok, but not really like. I'm not really fully into it. So, I, like, I'm all over the place because I'm so excited. But I just wanted to say as well, um, do you know what? I shouldn't say this now. But let me just, I hope I've shown you some of the things I do. I've got these beautiful little mirrors as well. These are so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Like, look at them. Look at them. So, I like to give them names. And this one is called Pastel. Oh, do you know what? I don't know if I did give this one a name yet. But it's a pastel pretty pastel pretty pastel like look at that so beautiful and that is a mirror by the way and we also have a beautiful pink and gold one so these mirrors cost 15 pounds that's how much i sell them for i do have free uk delivery but unfortunately because the cost of shipping anything like outside of the uk or international is just so extravagantly like ridiculous at the moment unfortunately i i think i've got just a fixed like 10 pounds um, delivery charge on anything which I hate having to do but it's just so expensive right now so unfortunately until the price of like posting things out goes down a bit they're not going to be that attractive to anyone outside of the UK because my most expensive product I think is £22 so then if you're in America and you want to buy a tumbler for £22 you, I fully appreciate it. you don't want to then spend an extra £10 on delivery so I feel like it's unfortunately not really inclusive at the moment because i, I don't know who i'm going to blame the world nate nato maybe i'll just blame donald trump i also do these um starbucks tumblers and um, this this is actually my favorite kind to do so it's a 24 fluid ounce reusable plastic starbucks tumbler and i just i love doing these so much so i just i just stick loads of like pretty shit on and I just have so much fun doing it. And if you ever buy anything from me, like, I think I may have said this before, but if you ever do buy anything from me, just know that so much happiness, good vibes and positivity went into actually creating it. And I, I kind of hope that, you know, like, for example, so this is uh, one of my storage pots. So you could store um, makeup brushes in there or you, you could store to your toothbrush or something. I've got one in the bathroom with our toothbrushes in. But just look at how beautiful this is. Like, really, look at that. Look at that. I just, uh, this is what I hope and what I dream and, like, hope and dream. This is what I hope and dream. Is that if you bought this and then you put it on your shelf... I hope that because so much of my good vibes went into creating it, like whenever you looked at it, it would radiate good vibes. So if you're feeling a bit down, you would just look at it and, and the good vibes would come out and you'd be like, oh, you'd instantly feel like lifted and you'd have a pep in your step. I just want it to spread the good vibes and I, I would hope that by it being there, it would be a thing of good vibes, a vessel of good vibes, one might say. We also have this beautiful tumbler, which is a completely covered from head to toe. Well, apart from this bit, it's covered in clear back crystals. And you can see it just creates such a beautiful effect. It kind of looks wet. It looks like raindrops. It's so gorgeous. I think this one is £15. It also has a very satisfying tactile um feel as well so i've got loads and loads and loads of things that i've created you can see them all here um whenever i post anything out i always include a f like little gift it could be a badge in the same like covered in crystals in the same theme as whatever you bought or, or it could be a key ring or it maybe a pop socket like or maybe a dildo like you just don't know it could be anything but I, that's my way of just saying like thank you so much because i really appreciate like anyone who has bought anything oh gosh every time i get a notification from etsy to say i've made a sale it's like i've just done a pregnancy test and found out it was negative and it's like yes fuck yes one final thing to mention is that i absolutely love to do custom orders so say for example if you wanted one of the starbucks um cups if you said to me do you know what i want one but i don't want one of the ones that in your catalogue i want a 
I one that was pink, black, silver, with blue crystals, maybe heart crystals, like whatever your heart desires, but nothing too complex. Someone asked me if I could do um like a name, like and it would I would have to like print something out and stick it on. I would like, oh my gosh too advanced for me, too advanced. I, I looked into it, but I realized it's too advanced and I, I know my limits. So I couldn't really do anything too complex just yet, but just any color combo that you would want, I would happily do. Um, just because like, I, I love doing my own stuff, but I just love to, I don't know, I just love to feel like I can do exactly what you want instead of just like what I've created. Like I want it to be perfect for you, and it's no problem for me to do a custom order. So if you did have anything in mind that you wanted me to do, or say you wanted um, one of the Happy Heart Mirrors, that was the name I called them, the Happy Heart Mirrors. Um, if you wanted one of these, you know, you could pick your colors. If you just wanted pearls, I could do pearls. If you wanted it just drenched in rhinestones or crystals, I could do that. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know, just like, this is what I've been doing. This is like my passion. Um, I've made a few sales. Um, I think I've made nine so far. So, and I'm really proud of that and every single one I've made. And I'm astonished like that anyone would buy my stuff. Well, I'm not really, cause I'm proud of it. And I think it's the most beautiful thing ever, but I'm, I'm humble enough to know that it's just not for everyone, but it, I love it so much. But and, and I, I, I wish I could brag about it more, but I just am not a very much of a braggy person. So anyway, guys, I've been wanting to make this video for ages. I wanted to just like share my new passion with you. And um, as always, thank you for your support. I'll show you like along the way what I do. If anyone's got any questions or you would like to see me maybe create something or you've just got like just any questions like what kind of glue do you use um can you wash these when you buy them like where do you buy the rhinestones and crystal like if you've got any questions let me know and i would happily do a um q a or just include the answers in another video so just let me know guys but anyway i am going to go now because i've got to stick things onto other stuff because that's my favorite thing to do in the world so anyway guys yeah i'm gonna go but thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next video bye